here. We import from about 15 to 18 different countries and we actually create a product. So as coffee roasters, it comes in as raw or green beans, and then we actually cook it or create it. That's what the roasting process is. So the roasting process, there's also variable types of processes involved in roasting. There's conductive heat and convection heat. Okay, so there's different types of roasters, different types of drum profiles, and different types of heat transference. So from our standpoint, we're actually a convection roaster. So we have the best of both worlds, we think. So we have, it's, we blow in heat and air, and we'll see that as you, we shoot the video out there. We blow in heat and air, and we pull all the smoke off as fast as we can. So from our standpoint, we're not just conductive roasters, we're a gas drum convection roaster. Is there a difference between the two in terms of how the bean? Yeah, absolutely. We actually can get a higher temperature and still maintain um, a good even roast profile. Quite often if you go to, if you got a bag of, of roasted beans, uh, you'll see a lot of inconsistency in the color profile. That classically would be a, con a conductive roasted process versus convection roast. We'll see blends out there. It'll be four to five bean profiles and they'll all be the same. That's the part of the process of convection heat versus conductive heat. So we're bringing in green in a burlap bag format. It's basically 60 kilos or 132 pounds. It goes through our loader, it goes into the hopper, and it drops into the drum. So everything comes in, we bring it in by single origins. So I mentioned, I think our last order, I think I had 19 different countries we brought in. And then from that, we sell a single origin, which would mean a Colombian sells as a Colombian, or we create our own blends. I mean like a French roast, espresso blend, those types of things. So we actually create our own unique formats in-house. We also sell single origin processes. So with, with that, it goes in the green format, into the loader, into the hopper, and then down on the roasting drum, and then it goes to the cooling tray. Then from there, we sell a, a ground format and a whole bean format. So the warehouse is split. So a portion pack business, like a restaurant business or a whole bean business for our coffee shop business. We're buying the top three to four percent available in the world's market, so it's already been cleaned. Uh, what also, what I look for as a buyer is consistency in the bag. So when you open up that burlap bag, there's no what they call Quakers or errors in the bag. There's nothing like stinkers, black bugs, or black beans. Things have been over-processed. Um, the bags are extremely clean. Uh, like for example, some of the bags are actually triple picked. So have our, our Sumatras, for example, our double picked Sumatras our guats are triple picked. So that, what that basically means is it goes down the line numerous times to get that foreign matter out. We basically have four profiles. We do a light, uh, a medium, a medium dark, and a dark. We kind of run with the four profile segment out of here. Um, so it's on those bags, it's actually a sliding scale. So across the bottom, you have the roast indicators and what's light, what's medium, kind of what's dark. Roast profiles are basically done on time and temperature. So it's really easy. Take your XY graph, the longer you go, the higher the temperature. Okay, so we know that. And everything is based back on density of the actual coffee bean itself. For example, Costa Ricans are not so dense, or Sumatras are very dense. So we know that. So what, when you roast, everything is roasted to that optimum profile. So our Costa Ricans, we take a little bit lighter because you can't over roast what people do. But for us, if I take a Costa Rican dark, it's gonna kill it. You won't get that nuance, the flavor out of it. Costa Ricans are good because they're Costa Ricans. They have a floral quality to them. Some sweetness in the cup. If you take a dark, you kill it. So we actually cook or roast each single origin to what we think is the optimum. Basically between the lightness and the darkness of the roast profile is time and temperature is the main thing. So on our, our lighter roasts will be 395 degrees, 400 degrees, say 14 minutes. On our darker roast, we'll hit 430, 435, and say 16 and a half to 17 minutes. So that's basically, again, if you go back to that graph, the longer you go, the higher the temperature. And the darker roasts are, uh, have a stronger taste, right? Correct, they're classically bolder. But again, it's the roast, it's also the bean characteristic. Uh, Sumatras, again, for example, are very bold, very dense. Where the Colombians, the Costa Ricans, are more floral and more sweetness as far as the cup characteristics. Uh, our waste is minimal. Um, there is what's called chaff or parchment, and I'll show you about there. It's actually the skin of the coffee bean itself. So inside the drum, if you picture the drum spinning, as the beans touch each other, there's friction involved. So the skin or parchment comes off, and that we actually throw away. Uh, it is 100% coffee. It's organic. 
a lot of the larger guys will actually put that back in their ground product because it is pure coffee. But for us as a specialty, roaster goes to the dumpster. We throw it away. Uh, every, um, there actually a lot can go wrong. Um, every roaster has the fear of fires. Uh, it's just inherent in the roasting business. Uh, we've had ours. Um, we've had several. Um, about two years ago, uh, we probably had a four alarm fire here with about four trucks that showed up. Uh, it's just part of it. Um, but we do our best to alleviate it by cleaning and staying on top of it. Um, and making sure the equipment is extremely clean. It's probably one of the biggest things as far as having roaster fires. Um, Steve actually cleans the afterburner twice a day, and we clean the roaster once a week. The, as we say, the proof is in the cup. 